Jesus. I'm just waiting for all the other things to... <clears throat> Pray for me with patience, please, people of God. In Jesus' name, amen. None of the other things are flipping on. Ah! Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There we go. 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 Hallelujah. Um, I greet you in that wonderful name of Christ Jesus. Uh, people of God, just please just tell me always if my face is right in the screen. Because I saw the other day I was on one of the platforms and you only saw half of my face. People only saw my lips. Some people never saw my eyes. And if you open the thing, then you can see it. So I don't really know sometimes that uh, my face is not showing. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Whoever's on here. Hi. Um, um, <clears throat> coach, <clears throat> I'm going to refrain from saying anything today because I don't have a lot of time. So, um, I greet you in that wonderful name of Christ Jesus. I thank God for um, everything that he's doing on this earth. I thank God for the reset. I thank God for life. I thank God that we are on this side of the grave. Because I'm telling you, King, he uh, King Hezekiah said, when the, uh, when the prophet of the Lord came to him, he said, mm -mm. I'm going to the Lord. I'm going to go to the Lord because he said to the Lord, Lord, I cannot praise you from the grave. I cannot praise you from the grave. So I'm thankful for what God is doing in this hour. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I pray that you will cover this place with the blood of Jesus. Every portal, every snare, and every arrow that is pointing at us, I rebuke it and I bind it in the mighty name of Jesus. And I cover us with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, okay. So, man of God, are you on Twitter or are you on Haps right now? My Jesus, I do not own any licenses or any rights to any songs or any music that you are hearing on this platform. Right? In Jesus' name. YouTube, did you hear that? Facebook, did you hear that? Okay. I do not own any licenses to any of the music playing. Right? In Jesus' name. So let's get into this message. I just hope um, for the replay viewers that's going to come in. I pray that uh, this so far today will go out from the north, the south, the east, and the west. In the mighty name of Jesus. Um, Holy Spirit, you are so welcome into this place. I thank you for shifting and moving the atmosphere, Lord. I thank you for everything that you have prepared for us today. I thank you that you are God and there is none like you. I thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. I thank you that I can hide, that we can hide under the wings of your feathers. Hallelujah. I thank you that you sent angels before us, Lord, to make all our crooked ways straight. I thank you that we can ask for wisdom, for the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of wisdom. I thank you, Lord, that you are God. And there is none like you. I thank you that you are about time. I thank you that you can. Mm, hallelujah. You can reset. And you are above all systems. I thank you that you are the king of kings. The lord of lords. And that you are my sustainer. He is my shield. And he is my buckler. Hallelujah. I praise the Lord today. I only have about 20 minutes people of God. But the Lord brought this before me the other day. Who are you allowing access into your life unbeknowing you? Ah, the enemy's little secret. His secret weapon against you. And now, now remember, people of God, the Lord said that he is all-knowing, right? The enemy is not all-knowing. And then God is also saying, saying there's a season to uh, 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 give birth to things, and there's a season uh, that uh, you clock out, you expire, you vacate uh, the, the earth, right? And then, then he also says, he is the one that changes the seasons. God is the one. That changes the seasons and the time. He's the one. So God is above all systems. I can't put it even, even in, in smaller or higher words for you. That your God, the God that I serve, 
the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob and the God of Abram is the God above all systems. Okay. Um, I just saw Kev a tweet thing coming up. So um, is this now you on Twitter or how is this working, people of God? Because there's a lot of things happening here. So I don't know if you're where you're signing in from. I only see three people here. As usual, none of the notifications got, went out. But you see, God is omnipresent. He is omnipresent. And God will see to it. Whoever needs to get this word, as long as I'm obedient enough to bring it, to bring it forth. You see, birthing can come in many ways, people of God. You give birth to the things of the Lord on this earth. He needs somebody to say his word. He needs somebody to prophesy his word. Yes, Milo, that's the truth. Milo's even agreeing. He needs an oracle, a loudspeaker, a voice to go out there and speak his word. God can use anyone and anything. Don't even worry if they speak about you um, when you go past. Don't worry about those people, people of God. I know um, it's hard sometimes when you're still muddling through your issues and you are so sensitive that when people speak or say something, you crawl back into your corner. But remember, people of God, God is not saying those things about you. God is not saying those things about you. There's nothing negative that God says about you in the Bible, people of God. No, there's nothing negative. So if the people talk, let them talk, people of God. Let them talk if they want to talk. Vengeance belongs to the Lord. If God tells you to rebuke, rebuke. If God tells you to lose, lose. But listen to the voice of the Lord in every matter. Because each matter is, 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 is merited on different levels. It's an individual matter. Please put the one on the screen if you can still hear me, if you can see me. Blessings to you, man of God. Blessings to you. Thank you so much for coming in here. And, and, and so, oh Jesus. You know, I always say this. I always say, um, I take Jackie wherever Jackie goes, meaning that I take my attitude, I take my systems, I take my beliefs, I take whatever I think, I take my little um, quirks, the way I speak, my accent, my hair, I take Jackie in her fullness wherever Jackie goes. But if I take Jackie all over where Jackie goes, whatever Jackie has been um, playing with, fire whatever jackie has been toying with whatever has access to jackie oh okay okay man of god no problem at least you can come in here and um uh, link the haps to the uh, twitter you know and, and and there's a place there's a place where you can see me that is all we want I just need the word of the Lord to go out because sometimes we come and hear people of God and it is truly a word in the hour. And um, you don't have to faff around when God gives you a word. You can just bring the word and you're out, right? So today, it is Fantastic Fridays. I wasn't going to come up here today, people of God. Yes, yes, I can see your responses. Let me type here for Kevin. Let me just see if I can type present on screen oh, but, uh, I don't know I don't know what I pressed it just said present on screen let's just type oh no um, people you might laugh at me um, because I, I really I, I hope you can see that I hope he can see my response you know, because this helps. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's focus on the message that I want to bring here today, people of God, because we don't have a lot of time. And um, the saying that I was uh, that I was um, uh, uh, that the Lord brought forth um, into my spirit is, "What is it that I have access to?" Right? 
what is it that that is inside of me that um, is walking with me wherever I go that I maybe haven't dealt with because we all are on, on our separate individual journeys with the Lord, right? Like I said, uh, Samuel, as as the prophet of the Lord, right? He also had to learn the voice of the Lord and how God spoke to him. Okay, no problem, man of God, as long as you can hear me and see me, right? So in Samuel, um, Samuel had to, with the first time when God, when he heard God's voice, he thought he was Eli speaking to him. He thought he was just hearing a voice in the atmosphere, but it was God calling him, right? And so sometimes when God speaks, in the way that he speaks to you, you might not understand or you might not hear the voice of the Lord and how he speaks to you. Because if you look at a father and daughter, father and son relationship, you must be able or you know the voice of the Lord. And if you don't know your father's voice, then how are you going to operate in this world? Are you going to... Who, who is he going to use to speak to you? Because sometimes God will use other people to speak into you also, right? I don't want to get off from the topic. I want to bring this topic. Father, in the name of Jesus, any distractions, I bind it right now on this platform and let this word go out the way you gave it to me. And so the Lord is saying to us today, people of God, actually Wednesday, you don't need this thing. Um, somebody was asking me the other day a question and, um, I couldn't understand like on what level this person was spiritually, right? And by no means am I saying I'm more spiritual than you and I'm more holy than you. What I'm saying is that, um, sometimes I explain something here and I'm, I think maybe because of the accent you don't understand because there's things that we've been speaking about on Periscope for years unless you did not get the full word and unless people are busy or they run this side and that side and they don't tune into the word and they don't get the full word yeah yes Michael and so each one of us, if my father calls and I hear his voice, I will know it's him. But you know, we have call identity, right? Mm, yeah, so the name of the person will come in. But just give me, give me, give me some. When, when, when God speaks to us, he speaks to us in a familiar way. Not talking about familiar spirits. He speaks to us in a familiar way, right? And we need to learn the voice and the way God speaks to us so that we can understand. And if you want to do yourself a favor, go to Judges. Go to Judges where the Lord spoke to Gideon. And Gideon asked the Lord to give him uh, different um, signs to make sure if it was God that was speaking to him because he didn't want to follow the wrong voice. And so he said he, God must give him a sign and God gave Gideon many signs that it was him and that he was going to give his enemies into his hand. And when Gideon heard that, Gideon, you know, Gideon was happy. G -G Gideon came to a place of, no, this is really, this, the, the, this is really God and what he said he's going to do. What he said and what he promised he's going to do. Now, the word that I want to bring across to you today is people of God. And this is what God gave me during the week. He said we go to all the, all the, all the shops, right? We wear our mask because they said we must wear our mask. Oh, my spoon just fell out. We, may, we, wear, we wear our mask and... Um, all the shops, you know, the sanitizing, you know, they spray it on you. They have the lotions and the potions, right? But you know what? The Lord said you can you can put all the sanitizing uh, sanitizers on your hand and you can spray your atmosphere full of nice spray 
and you can put your cologne on and you can put your mask on and you can put your makeup on and you can put your false hair on your head also remember i also wear braids I, i'm speaking to myself also because i'm also in my process and my journey with the lord right i am not judging anybody here i'm just giving you the you know what god gave me but it, when last did you check your bed and so when god was speaking about my bed last time the lord gave me a word now remember i came in here and i said to y'all i always say i take jackie wherever jackie goes and one day um uh, two years ago three years ago when we had that conference and one of um one of the uh, prophets came through um and i had to go pick him up at the airport and he said the first words when we when i mean he was coming up the escalator with his bag and his things and i said yeah yeah, yeah blah, blah, blah. and 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 when he when when he, when he saw me and he gave me a hug very uncomfortable hug you know uh, because i didn't know he think he was gonna trip and um, I, i don't know but anyway he gave me a hug and in the first words that he said was you look exactly uh the way your pictures look like and the way you look on periscope right i didn't give it any thought i only thought about it afterwards you know what it meant And so um, people portray a lot of things on these platforms and people don't really show you exactly who they are sometimes, right? And people are very happy when you see them on pictures on, on, on Facebook and on all of these um, pictures that they put on Instagram and whatever. But people don't show you their heart. But you see, God knows our heart posture because he made us and he knows what he put inside of us. Therefore, the world cannot tell you who you are. And so when God took me back to um, this word that I always say, I take Jackie wherever Jackie goes. And I'm thinking to myself, Jackie might have things inside of her that she never dealt with. And she's taking that all over where she goes. And then the Lord said, but who slept last in your bed? Hi, Lady Rogers. Blessings, blessings to you. And 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 I said, okay, okay. Um, If, if, if your bed is dirty, people of God, and you had a relationship with someone, and that person slept in your bed. Hi, Cheryl. Blessings, blessings and favor to you, my sister. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Lady Rogers. Blessings to you also. Thank you so much for coming in, people of God. The word that the Lord is, uh, is, 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 oh, Jesus. And, and, and remember, people of God, it will be in different de- degrees for each one of us on, on this platform right now, this word. Who have you given access to you? Who have you given access to freely, unbeknown to you, this person or, or, or the spirit or this portal and this door is still open? It's never been closed. And so I was, I was, I was thinking, and and the Lord brought a bed before me, a bed. Now remember, last time we spoke about the bed, right? We spoke about the bed of my friend that said after she got married, the Lord showed her the bed was full of blood. The bed is defiled in the spirit. The Lord showed her, and then this thing of her her husband came in out, right? That he was married before, right? So, 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 so listen to this. Then I checked. Last time I also checked this because um, my daughter had um, very bad eczema. And so we had to clean the bed always. And, and, and when she used to lay in the bed, right, um, she used to scratch. She used to scratch. Oh, I love, you know, I love my songs. I don't want to get, I don't want to get into the song because then I'm going to be long here. And I want to give this word to you. Otherwise, I must come tomorrow and just add on to it all Monday or Sunday. So don't be surprised if you see me over the weekend. So anyway, um, and so the Lord was telling me that um, when 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 she used to um, shed, it was almost like she was shedding skin. And I was telling you all about it the other day, right? And then I just used to lift her up and I used to go and bath her every morning before school. So we used to wake up like two, three hours before school because it's a long, lengthy story in the morning to put all our lotions and our potions and our medication and then the breakfast. Um, it's a long story. And um, then I learned about the bed bugs and 
mites that also love in the bed and the mites eat all your skin. And then um, one day I was on a YouTube, but that was like a few years ago when I was really, really investigating this thing. This was like a, maybe 15, I don't know how many years ago people have got. And, and this skin stays in your mattress. Yeah. Cheryl, this skin stays in your mattress. So people of God, if you're nasty or you were nasty, remember, people were still asking, is that the carpenter's son? People were still asking, isn't that the carpenter's son? What is he talking about here in the synagogue? And, you know, where did he get all this wisdom from? Yeah. Mariam also said to Aaron, is he the only one that Jesus can use? Mm -hmm. Right? So, people of God, this residue and the skin that's in your bed, and God is saying, check your bed. You see, I can put up my makeup and look cute. I can put on any dress, pants, I can buy the nicest shoes. I can buy the most expensive colognes out there. Mm -hmm. I can even change my accent and start speaking like I am from London or the UK, right? Right, right. I can change a lot of things about myself and mask this thing for years. Until somebody comes on my path and start ripping off, ripping off, ripping off. And one by one, the mask and the fallacies and the fake starts. You know, I start, I start, I start actually going into this thing and figuring out, let me put this off, and figuring out that, 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 that I've been, I've been shameful in my doing and that it was actually a mask, a wall, a front that I've been putting on for so long, people of God. And you know, somebody was mentioning this the other day and, and, and we were watching, I like these documentaries, man. I like, I like documentaries of doctors and and all these things, even animals and things like that, you know. And you know what? Let me tell you, people of God. How is it possible? Somebody asked me the other day. How is it possible? And I also asked this question. That you can live for eight years with cancer in your body. You don't know. Nobody told you you got cancer yet. <clears throat> right? You don't feel sick. <clears throat> I don't know why this light doesn't want to work today. You don't feel sick. There's nothing wrong with you physically. Right? You don't even know you have cancer. But then somebody, <clears throat> somebody comes and tell you, you go one day for a checkup, because you get lightheaded or, you know, whatever have happens. You don't even realize what you're walking with, people of God. You don't. And um, then you go to the doctor. And then the doctor does some test on you. And then the doctor tells you, you got cancer. And then the doctor tells you, you got sugar, diabetes. And then the doctor tells you, <clears throat> you've got some heart disease. You know, I've got a friend. His whole family had heart issues. High blood, high blood pressure, cholesterol, and diabetes. And, um, uh, 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 you know, they had some heart issues. Right? These are the four things that was in their family. Isn't it strange? When you go to the AA classes... 
the first thing that they say is you have to acknowledge that you are an alco uh, 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 alcoholic. You know, AA, Alcoholic Anonymous. You have to first own it. So every time, even though you're not drinking anymore, right? Every time when you come to the class, they always say, I am a. So now how are you going to get loose of the I am if you never say it? I am, you are not an uh, alcoholic. God didn't make you an alcoholic. There's nothing on this earth that says that you are an alcoholic besides you. Exactly. You go to the doctor, they tell you you've got corona. Meanwhile, it's just an allergy. It's just an allergy, you're just feeling fainty. And then they ask you, they ask you, Cheryl. They ask you, my goodness, what is wrong? And then you say, <coughs> I feel like this. Sorry, people of God, the blood of Jesus. I feel like this, and I feel like that, and I feel like that. And, and on upon, upon what you uh, release and tell them, they make, they put together and analyze. They analyze actually what you give them. So, so in actual fact, I give you the information. I didn't come in here and you said, oh. You know, let me see your eyes. This is wrong. That is wrong. No, 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 no. You ask me what runs in your family. And then I tell you, like that man, my friend that I was telling you about, a cholesterol is in our family. And then you just see doctor is writing. Woo, Jesus. He takes the pen and he is writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to put this in your file because it's the first time that you come here. Yeah, we're going to put this in your file. Exactly. Exactly. You see, you will go to the doctor and because the seasons has changed, now there's a little bit of pollen in the air or maybe I have a friend that uh, sometimes uh, there's certain time that she's allergic to oranges, but then there's certain time that she can eat pockets upon pockets of oranges and it will not affect her at all. Exactly. They will tell you a whole lot of things by the system, the, by the symptoms that you tell them, because the devil will make you understand that that is that that, that that that's that symptom. Whose report will you believe? You see, the other day I was sitting in the toilet, you know, I get my brightest ideas from the Holy Spirit when I sit in the toilet. And I was sitting there and, and the Lord said, Jackie, you claim something. I said, What did I claim, Lord? I said, He said, I cl you claim something. You claim something that is not yours. I said, what, Lord? He said, you claim lactose intolerance. I did not make you lactose intolerance. When you came to this earth, you were not lactose intolerant. When you, when I, when you came on this earth, you see, Adam named all the bees and the, and the lions and the sheepies and the cows, and the bulls, and the leopards, and the whatever is out there, elephants, giraffes, he knew the names of all of these things. Now you tell me, will God put something on this earth that's going to affect me? The cow's milk. So who made me intolerant to lactose that is in the milk? What products are they giving us? Hmm? That we are still taking. Every day we eat all their lies. And what they tell us. I tell you what is wrong with me. And then you put an analysis together. And you give me some medication for this. My friend was walking a long time with a cancer in her body. No problem. There was no problem. She didn't know she had cancer. Nobody told her she had cancer. She went to Switzerland. She studied abroad, came back, worked for the beers, the biggest mine company here in South Africa. I mean, in Africa, worked there. No problem. No cancer. But the cancer is inside of her body. Apparently, it was eating away, you know. The minute she went to the hospital and they told her she had cancer, not even three years, all, did all the tests that they could think of. She was literally a guinea pig, people of God. 
I told somebody yesterday because this is what the Lord revealed to me. He said the, the enemy is using us as target practice until we tell, we say, you are your, you see, life and death is in your mouth. It is in your tongue. It is inside of you. It is inside of you. The minute you went to the doctor and you explained and they did the blood test, now this is what you have. And we're going to put you on all of these things. And after radiation, your hair falls out. You see, uh, this radiation is going to eat your skin. Uh, uh, you might, uh, you know, one of your lumps might fall off. But you know what? We are trying to get the, we are trying to shoot. To shoot. With the radiation. We are trying to kill the enemy that we made you to believe. That you have inside of your body. That was made by God. We are going to shoot poison into your body. Hallelujah, Jesus. And we're going to cure you. Or we're going to try to cure you. We're going to try. We're going to try. But you see, once we start with it, and um, this is the, you, you might not come out on the other side and look the same. I can remember that there was three boys in the Bible and, 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 and the king, the king came to them and, and, and you know, and, and they said, ah, king, you know, whatever, put us, in the, put us in that fire. Let those lions loose. Let them loose. We will survive because of our God, not because of what you say. It was never about what you say. It was always, it has always been about our God. And the report that he has given us. Because he says in his word, I have given you authority. Look, I think it's in Luke 10 verse 18. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions. And to overcome all the powers of the enemy. Right? Right? And so with, uh, with alcohol, uh, alcohol uh, uh, anonymous, I might be saying the word wrong. It's AA. They always claim that they are... Um, the victim of being an uh, alcohol, um, alcoholic. They claim it. And then they walk with it. They walk with it the whole time, Cheryl. They never speak something else. You see, the enemy came to Eve in the Garden of Eden. Like I said, the Lord is saying, we are having conversation, fat chats with the enemy. Trading our gifts. Trading our gifts, people of God. And when he speaks, what happened? When God came back to the, uh, to the Garden of Eden, not came back, when he came looking for them, they realized that they were naked. But I was also thinking, how come they never saw themselves as naked? And then God asked them, who told y'all that you were naked? Now, Cheryl, who told you that you are alcoholic? Who told you that these symptoms are COVID? Hmm? You then always had these allergies, you know, when the season change. Who told you that I claim lactose intolerance now? Somebody told me one day that you might be lactose intolerant, and then I claimed that, and I walked with it. So the spirit of lactose intolerant, I have claimed. I said, in the name of Jesus? So I've been saying it over and over and over again, confessing it to this one, telling that one all through the years. Yes, it is so. No, it ain't so. It stops right here. I lose myself and I rebuke the spirit of lactose intolerance in the name of Jesus. And I lose myself from that in the name of Jesus. And I will never speak that words again because that is not what God says about me. A simple thing like that. A simple thing like that. And the Lord said, you claim that thing. You claim that thing. That's why you're walking with it. When, when the Lord asked them in the Garden of Eden, who told you you were naked? Who told you your hair is not right? Who told you your skin color is not right? Who told you your eyes is too big or too small or too large? or too? Who told you this little nosy that you have is not right? Who told you the ears that you have is not right? It must be pointy. Who told you that this is full of uh, wrinkles and I don't know what else and you must put it there? Who told you all of these things that you are not the calling 
on your life. You see, what I've learned today is, people of God, I'm going to come back uh, to the bed, to the bed. Because you see, lots of us, lots of, uh, lot, uh, a lot of my sisters and even my brothers have been entertaining the enemy. God did not speak any imperfections over us. They are liars. They come up with things in the lab. They're telling us about the vegan story. Do you know what, people of God? This is one of the, the words that the Lord gave me. I'm so sorry that I don't have a lot of time today. But you know what? I, I, I actually gave you this word before. And God brings up a lot of things, you know. And, and one of the words that I'm supposed to bring, people of God, who endorses you? Hey, Jesus. Who endorses you? I've got to go. I got to go, people of God. Who endorsed you, Jackie? Because if you take that scripture in the Bible, I think it's in Genesis 2 or 3, where, where, we, where he spoke to um, Adam and Eve, right? And then, then he said to them, who told you all of these things? Who told Jackie that she's lactose intolerant? The world. They didn't make me. God made me. And he said, I am perfect. I am precious in his sight. Precious in his sight. Yeah, so he endorsed me. God endorsed you. Now, who told us all these little lies that we've been walking, speaking, and saying over us? I am perfect in every way. See, I'm going to leave you with the scripture because I cannot leave you without giving y'all the scripture. Hmm. Y'all know the scripture. It is Ephesians 3 verse 20. Now to him who is able to do immeasurable, more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So, not by my will, not by your words, am I going to do what God has called me for? Yeah, because greater is he who lives in me than he does live in this world, that operates in this world. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I am more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus, because in Christ Jesus, I am the righteousness. Through Christ Jesus, I am the righteousness. Through Christ Jesus, I am the righteousness. Through Christ Jesus, I am blessed and I am highly favored. Not my favor, not my blessings, hallelujah, but the blessings that God has bestowed on your life and on my life. These riches, the power, and everything that he has given us, it is all his. By his mercy and by his grace, I can stand before you today and speak these words. By his mercy and by his grace, for this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom the whole family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Through faith, eh? And I, and I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and how long and how high and deep his love of Christ. And know this, this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled in the measure of all the fullness of God. It is Ephesians 3 verse 20 that I need us to focus on. But you know me, I always go like before. So I read now. From Ephesians 3, sorry, verse um, 
lockdown sprayer Jackie say it I know I'm saying a lot of things here yeah but I read now um um, um coach from Ephesians 3 from verse 14 right through to verse 21 is it yeah yeah so uh people of God I did not finish the word about the uh, about the bed but for all of you walking out there thinking that you are all that let me just bring you back to earth hello what have you given access to you? What what are you walking with? You you see, people of God, you I also changed my bedding the other day. You change the bedding, Jackie, you change the sheets, Jackie, you 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 do all of these things, but you forget the skin and those mites are still in the bed. And they say, go even go check it out yourself, people of God. This the skin stays in your bed for years. Who are you sleeping with? Who are you sleeping with? Hmm? That man that left you 20 years ago. That man that you brought in, you know, 10 years ago into your bedroom. Hmm? That woman that you slept with two years ago. Who are you sleeping with? Because their skin is still in that bed. And I'm not saying to everybody out here, go buy new beds. But some of us will have to go get new beds. Some of us will have to go get new beds because these old things are um, manifesting still in your life. And the reason why you sometimes don't meet your new spouse is because you're walking around with a spiritual husband and a spiritual wife. That's why the new is not manifesting in your life. I got to stop here, people of God. I love you with the love of the Lord. Go in peace and serve the Lord. I decree and I declare that this word is sealed with the blood of Jesus. I am not judging you. I also love my makeup and my hair done nicely. And, you know, I trot around also sometimes on my heels, not always, you know. But, you know, people of God, I cannot go wash my hands and spray my hands and put all the perfumes and put all the makeup and put all the Brazilian hair and I don't know what else we put on our head and whatever. But you see, and put new sheets and new blankets, but the bed is infested with so many people's skin that slip in that bed with you. Could it be that that is stripping you from entering your new? What? Have you professed and proclaimed and, and, and taken from the enemy's camp and you made it yours? How many times are they putting on YouTube, TV, media, uh, uh, all over? Go out, go for your jab, do this, do that. I saw the other day this lady was saying um, her son is working at Target and they're offering them 79 or $75 um, dollars for all of the employees to go for the jab. Then at uh, Dunkin' Donuts, they offer people donuts if they go for the jab. You know the jab? Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are the things that the enemy is telling us that we have to believe. You see, once you see yourself the way God sees you, once you realize that Ephesians 3 verse 20 can only apply to you through Christ Jesus, then you know, I can't do this thing on my own. It is through him that I am. It is through him that I can run the race. It is through him that I can speak to you today. It is through him that I stand in the council that he put me in because of his doctrine, people of God. Because of his word, people of God. It is not through my own hands. I cannot do anything for you. Jackie cannot do anything for you. But his word that he speaks through me, people of God. And you going into the word for yourself. Assess the matter for yourself in the name of Jesus. And don't take everything that they say, people of God. Don't take everything that they say face value and just receive it. Mm, mm. Don't just receive it. You might speak out of a book and what they say there in the book and all of these things. But you have to have faith to believe, fully persuaded that God is going to take you to the place of destiny. God is going to bring you to a place of overflow. God is going to give you all of these things because he said to uh, Abram, and you know that he's been a, one of my favorite scriptures in Genesis 12, come out amongst them. 
because I am going to establish you. And I'm telling you, people of God, this is a reset like no other. It is a reset like no other. Do not come out of the reset and you go back into the old. If God says, let it go, let it go. He will supply all he all needs according to his riches. Not my power, not my riches, but his riches, not my riches. God will supply all my needs according to his riches. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I am more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. And through him, we are the righteousness of Christ Jesus. But you see, the enemy wants to remind you in the natural who you are. You see, Jackie, you can't have this ministry because you know what? You live in South Africa and people are very poor in South Africa. And there's a lot of constraints here. Ah, hello. Hello, shut your mouth, shut your trap right now in the name of Jesus. I am the child of the Most High God. There ain't nothing impossible with the Lord. Can anything good come, come, come out of South Africa, Cape Town? Can any, anything good? Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Can anything good come out of New York? Can anything good come out of California? Can anything good come out of Indian, India? Yes, my friend stays there. Mm. Because Sodom and Gomorrah, yeah, was under attack. But because of, of, of his brother Lot or cousin, whatever he was, Abram's cousin brother Lot, that was in Sodom and Gomorrah, hallelujah, he said, find one person there, only one, and I will stop it all. Jonah was sent to Nineveh because Nineveh was living in sin. God will raise a person out of all of the affliction that's around you, people of God, believe and trust your God that he will come through for you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Cheryl, send me, a, send me an email, Cheryl, if you're still up here. Send me an email if you need me to pray with you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. I'm speaking to Cheryl, okay? I love you all with the love of the Lord. I decree and I declare that this word is sealed with the blood of Jesus. I want you to uh, really sit down and ask the Holy Spirit to identify who you have given access to. And maybe unbeknown you that the bed that you are sleeping on, people of God, is actually the access that the enemy has to you. Right? We can put all the beautiful beddings on top. I can put all the beautiful things on top. But if my heart posture and my heart is not right, and I do not understand that I have the mind of Christ Jesus, people of God, it is all for nothing. I have to receive the grace, the gift of grace. It is a gift. So I receive the gift of grace today on my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Because he has given it to me. And I'm walking with that that he says I am. I might not see myself like that, but God says I am. He says I am highly favored. But he says I am blessed in a city and I am blessed in a country. God says in Deuteronomy that I am in my going in, I'm blessed. And in my coming out, I am also blessed. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Thank you for each and every one that came in your life. And for the replay viewers, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. I decree and I declare that this word is sealed. Under the blood of Jesus. I'll see you maybe during the weekend. Otherwise, during the next week. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Be blessed. Bye, guys.